Imagine going to bed at the end of a long day. You close your eyes and you fall into sleep. But suddenly, you wake up in the middle of the night. It's so quiet. Everything is dark. You can hardly see anything, but somehow, something feels odd. You can't clearly see it at first, but surely, something doesn't feel right. Slowly, your chest feels tight and it becomes harder to breathe. You cannot move and you cannot talk either. And that's when you see it. That blurry black existence that is observing you so closely. A nightmare? Well, not really. Sleep paralysis. That's the scientific name of this phenomenon that makes you question how far did reality and dream blend in each other. While much is still unknown about sleep paralysis, researchers came to a conclusion that its occurrence is mostly connected to the rapid eye movement. Or in short, REM. It is during this period of time that vivid dreaming occurs. The eyes move quickly but the body is still turned off to prevent it from acting out and hurting oneself or others. But if someone wakes up suddenly during a REM cycle, an error could happen and only the mind awakens. And so, they'll notice their inability to move or speak. What makes people dread sleep paralysis so much is that it's often accompanied by terrifying visual and or auditive hallucinations such as perceiving the presence of a dangerous intruder in the room or hearing whispers and voices. One may also feel pressure on the chest and have difficulty breathing. The person could also feel as if they're being dragged out of bed or flying. All these symptoms result in intense emotions such as fear and panic. We still don't know the real cause for sleep paralysis, but studies have found some recurring factors that are involved in the likelihood of it happening, such as sleep disorders, insomnia, anxiety disorder, genetics, daydreaming, physical fatigue, and sleeping on the back. Unfortunately, there is no actual treatment for sleep paralysis, but it is recommended to have a healthier sleep hygiene. For example, having a set schedule for going to bed and waking up and reducing caffeine consumption. Treating any mental health problems and sleep disorders may also help. Although the experience may be terrifying, sleep paralysis itself represents no immediate danger. It is but a trick the brain plays on you. So next time, try remaining calm and remember that not all you see is the real truth.